there is no entry and even a couple of minutes ago uh, some of the family members had been barred from entering uh, the compound and the sister had to negotiate for a, quite some time uh, before she was allowed inside uh, the compound right here we have seen uh, police officers arriving here with big sledgehammers and big metal cutters as well so uh, we assume that those are going to be used to access some of the areas in the house which they could not access earlier on since yesterday remember uh, the officers have been here since yesterday around 10 o'clock uh, all through the night the media were here the officers were also here uh, still conducting that operation while it is not, still not clear what they are looking for, we understand that uh, the, the operation here could be closely linked to the one that took place in Malindi uh, in a house alleged uh, to belong to Jimmy Wanjigi where uh, five guns were found and nearly 100 uh, bullets, 100 rounds of ammunition were found there. So uh, we understand that, that the operation there is linked to closely what is happening here. Uh, we still do not know uh, whether... Uh, Jimmy Wanjigi himself uh, is in the in the house. Remember, yesterday the politicians who got in uh, said that they had not seen him, uh, that they were not, they, they did not know his whereabouts. Uh, but with all the operations going on here, uh, he could still be holed up uh, inside the compound. But uh, the officers here cannot access him. So uh, that really is what we are uh, going with the assumptions uh, that we are going with at the moment. But. We have seen the police uh, getting into the compound with the sledgehammer and metal cutters just perhaps to access some of the areas in the house uh, which they, we, they could not access earlier on. Smriti. Andrew, give us a sense of the atmosphere there. Clearly you mentioned there is a lot of uh, security, but is there um, uh, plenty of tension in the air or are things relatively calm? Well, outside things are relatively calm. Uh, if you can see, the gate is closed, uh, and it is still a the driveway is still a long way uh, before you get to the house. Uh, outside, there is not much tension. There were there was tension earlier on when the sister to Maya Wanjigi, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi, sorry, I beg your pardon, tried to get uh, into the compound, but had been barred. And after several uh, minutes of uh, negotiations, she was allowed into the compound. Outside where we are, there is no tension, but uh, inside there are of course uh, several members of staff of the home there are several family members uh, of the home and of course there are the police officers who are conducting the operation uh, so of course inside we cannot speculate of uh, the, the situation inside all we know is that uh, there is probably the police attempting to execute the search uh, this morning we have seen the warrant that uh, that has been circulating on social media uh, but from the police allowing them to search not just the home here in Modega uh, but also Jimmy Wanjigi's uh, uh, offices at the Caramel uh, Lounge in the ABC place. So they are executing that, that, that warrant that they have so we do not, under, we do not know clearly uh, the situation and the, the tension uh, to speak of uh, inside the compound. Outside here however uh, things are relatively calm. We have been barred from going as close to the gate as we went to yesterday. Remember yesterday uh, even at the, in the night journalists were allowed inside the compound and could film a lot of what was happening inside uh, all through the night there were armed officers from uh, different uh, contingents of the police just patrolling the compound outside and inside the compound but this morning journalists have not been allowed inside uh, and not much can be said of what is going on inside but just from what we've seen outside uh, the police getting in with the sledgehammers and the giant uh, wire cutters and padlock cutters are just getting into the compound perhaps uh, that those equipment will be used uh, in the operation that they are conducting.